Hello again, my dear students. I'm back and I will be discussing to you lesson three, the basic concepts in plant nutrition. It's actually the last lesson that we will have under unit one introduction. And we are still um, under module one, soil fertility management. Okay, so we have the objectives of this lesson for today. So after this lesson, you are expected to identify the essential elements for plant nutrition and then recognize the categories of essential elements explain the importance of essential elements so i'd like to ask you this question why do plant needs essential elements why how essential is this elements are these elements i mean so to be able for the plant to grow um develop and produce at their best so the plant needs specific elements or compounds and these are called essential elements without um, one of these elements the plant will not be able to complete its life cycle which means the plant will not be able to produce uh, uh, the the seed will not be able to germinate the plant will not be able to produce roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and even fruits. And the plant also will not be able to produce seeds again to be able to produce new plant. Or the plant itself will die. So that's how important the essential elements are for the plants. And... Having too much application of these nutrients will cause harm to the plants or will kill the plants. For instance, if you apply too much nitrogen in the soil, the plant will produce too much leaves. And having too much leaves is not good because you will not be able to produce the desired uh, number of fruits that you want or the desired yield that you want from the crop. And another one, another example is, when there is too much application also of manganese, the result is the plant will, will uh, be uh, exhibiting, yellow, uh, exhibiting yellowing of leaves, and then the plant will eventually die. So it's very important that we know what are these essential elements. To be able to save time, effort, and money, we really have to know what are these elements, why are these elements important for crops growth and development, and what type of elements are we going to apply and quantity of elements that we are going to apply to um, reach the desired yield or potential yield of the crop. So that's how... Um, important the essential elements are for plant growth and development okay now so plant actually require 18 essential elements and these elements are found only in nature so we can find it everywhere so each nutrient has functions and they complement with each other so when one nutrient is not present or in excess or is in excess the other element will not function well or will be inhibited. So there are actually two general types of essential nutrients. And these essential nutrients are macronutrients and micronutrients. So macronutrients are, far, uh, are further classified into three. So there are three types of macronutrients and these are structural primary and secondary. So we will start with uh, structural nutrients. So structural nutrients is composed or are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. As you've noticed, these elements are found in the air and water. So they are obtained from the air through carbon dioxide and water and in the form of H2O and they are the basis for carbohydrates such as sugars and starch that provide the strength for cell walls, stems, and leaves 
and are also sources of energy for the plant and organisms that consume the plant. So which means these structural nutrients that are uh, composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are also the bl building blocks of the plants. And another uh, macronutrient, we have uh, primary nutrients, and they are composed of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Normally, as you can, when you can see a uh, synthetic fertilizer, I'm not sure if all of you have already seen um, synthetic, uh, synthetic fertilizers that are usually applied by the farmers in the farm. So normally, the fertilizer grades are based on the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium within the sack or the container. So when we speak about triple 14, so triple 14 has a fertilizer grade of 14, 14, 14, which means that the sack contains or the fertilizer contains pure nitrogen, which is 14%, pure phosphorus, which is 14%, and potassium, which is 14% also. And another example is that urea. Urea has uh, a fertilizer grade of 4600, which means the fertilizer contains 46% of pure nitrogen. So why is there, uh, why does, does the synthetic fertilizer usually have that um, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium within the fertilizers? That's because the plant really needs huge amount of this fertilizers. And another thing is uh, particularly nitrogen. Nitrogen is very volatile in the soil. So it really needs to be applied uh, in the soil synthetically. So other farmer usually took... Um, supply nitrogen to the soil through synthetic fertilizers. Okay, another one. These elements contribute to plant nutrient content. Function of plant uh, enzymes and biochemical processes and integrity of the plant cells. So these are their functions. And then, um, but we will discuss more of their functions as we go along with our lesson or as we go along with our lessons for this subject. And then deficiency of these nutrients contribute to reduced plant growth, health, and yield. Then another um, uh, type of macronutrient is the secondary nutrients, and they are composed of calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. So another one, we have micronutrients. So these essential nutrients are used in small quantities by the plant, but nevertheless, they are necessary for survival. So as what I have mentioned a while ago, even if the, uh, the nutrient is uh, ne needed by the plant in small amount, it, it's, still, it, it's still necessary. It's because uh, without uh, only even one element uh, in the soil, the plant will not be able to complete its life cycle. So that's why even these elements are micro or they are needed by the plant in very small amount, they are still necessary to complete uh, the life cycle of the plant. So these micronutrients include uh, iron, boron, copper, chlorine, manganese, molybdenum, zinc, cobalt, and nickel. So they are uh, very important for the plants also. Okay, so we have already learned the different uh, types of nutrients uh, that the plant needs. So in summary, I have here the photo and I would like to show you uh, these different essential elements. Okay, so we have here hydrogen where we can get, uh, that's actually H2O, uh, where we can get um, hydrogen and Oxygen, so H2O stands for water, and then we have oxygen, and then we have carbon dioxide or CO2, 
where we get carbon and oxygen. So they are called the CHO or carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are called structural elements. And we have another one. So we have the primary macronutrients and they are composed of um, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And then we have secondary nutrients composed of calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. And then we have another one, the micronutrients needed by the plant in small amounts. So boron, zinc, iron, copper, manganese, molybdenum, chlorine, uh, nickel, and cobalt. Okay, so we have here uh, the references. So I'm sorry for the, uh, the other uh, books that I used in this uh, lesson because I, I took that from the library. So it's not available in the internet. So the, available, the only available reference that I have here is the Corn, Cor Cornell University. So it's from Cornell University, I mean. So you can access that from the internet through the link that I provided here. And then, if you have any question about the lesson that I have today, feel free to contact me in my Telegram and at the Google Classroom. So I'm sure uh, uh, some of you are already here in the class and in the Google Classroom and the Telegram, I mean. So, do not hesitate to ask questions if you have hesitation, uh, if you have confusions about the, or clarifications about the lesson that I've discussed and the previous lesson that I I have discussed with you also. So, uh, I am always willing to respond to you anytime if you have questions. So, feel free to contact me. Um, always stay safe and. Uh, always pray and God bless to each and everyone.